We're going to take the next few minutes to explore some features in Google Docs that you may or may not be familiar with. Even if you have used Google for a while, there might be some things that you pick up here, so this might be worth your time to watch. Um, the first thing I want to show you is how to add fonts. Um, about a year or so ago, Google decided they were going to release a couple hundred fonts, and it's really easy to add them to your font library. All you do is you go up to your bar here, and there's a drop-down menu, and if you go if you go all the way down, there's a button that says More Fonts. That's going to open your font library. If you happen to know the name of a specific font you want, you can go ahead and type it in. But what I do is every now and then when I have a few minutes, I go through here and I just kind of take a look at all of the fonts that are in the library. Once I click one and add it, it puts a little blue check mark next to it so and turns it blue so I know that I have that font but I have a few of them that I've put in here over the last, oh, six or eight months. Let me add one just to show you what this looks like. I'm gonna choose rock salt, and I'm just gonna click it, and I have to make sure I click OK to save. But now that's gonna be available for me to use um, when I'm typing um, up Google Docs, and this also um, will appear in my um, Google presentation as well. So that is how you add custom fonts. The other thing that's kind of fun to do is going into page setup and you can change the orientation of your page. By default, it's set up to portrait. But for this particular page, I decided to change it to landscape since I have a table on there that I wanted to kind of run as kind of three long columns instead of making it narrow, I wanted to make it wide. And what I really like to do when I have quite a bit of time to spare is I like to make my pages look kind of pretty. And I spiff them up a little bit by changing the background color. So I'm going to change this to, I'll change it to kind of this pale blue here because I do have some blue text on my page that I still want to be able to see. So that's a really quick and easy way to kind of jazz up a document if you want to. And another thing that I discovered a, probably two or three months ago was how to choose custom colors. And what I mean by that is there's sometimes you want the exact color on a page. So I'm going to go into my Chrome Web Store real quick and I'm just going to type in color picker. And that's going to give me some options here. And I'm not worried about the apps. I'm going to look at the extensions. There's a couple of different extensions on here. The one that I really like is this Color Picker Eyedropper. And let me show you what this does. Let me go back to my document. Here it is. And I'm going to come up here to the Color Dropper. And what this does, when it works, let me try this one instead. Okay, this one will work as well. What it does is I can go take it over different places on my um, document or my website, and it shows me the actual um, the hex code. So, for example, if I wanted the red, I can click on the red, and I'm going to copy this code. And since I already have a column that is red, I'm going to change this middle column here, possibly. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to go to Table Properties. And right now this middle column here is red, but I want to change it to the green. So I'm going to click Custom and I'm going to paste my hex code in there and I'm going to click OK. And that's going to change that into the color, that exact color that I selected from up here. Now for most everyday types of things this isn't going to be very important, but there might be some things from time to time that you do where changing the color and getting the color just right um, is really important. So that is a very quick and easy way to um, pick your color. And like I said, most times my color dropper is working, I probably just need to update some things here. But I've got one called eyedropper, and then I've got um, the color picker 
eyedropper here too. They do the same exact thing. So anyway, I hope these will help you out a little bit. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call.